Community members paid their respects to the late teenager Justin Walker. Walker's body washed up on a beach in Matamoros after he went missing from South Padre Island. And while Walker was laid to rest today in Bernie, CBS 4's Nora Salinas was at the vigil this evening on the island. Nora. Eddie, many of those people who attended tonight's vigil say they took part in the long search for the teen before his body was found on a Mexican beach. They tell me they did not know Walker personally, but want his memory to be kept alive. An intimate gathering took place at the Island Baptist Church on Thursday evening. Members of the community showed up to pay their final respects for a teen who they say lost his life too soon. We're here today to come together, you know, for, you know, support to share the memory of Justin. With posters, flowers and candles in hand, the group shared touching words about 18 year old Justin Walker, who was found dead on a Mexican beach last Friday after attending a UME concert on the island. We're saddened, obviously, by this tragic accident. Uh, the fact that, you know, it hit home to a lot of us here because this is our island. Elizabeth Silva, who organized the vigil, says even though another spring breaker lost his life after a UME concert last year, just like Walker, she doesn't believe the concert is to blame. You can't play the blame game and, and blame, you know, whether it was the fact that it was he went to a concert, you know. What needs to happen is more awareness, obviously, because I know from what I know from these event organizers, they, they have the security maybe more security. I mean, how much security can you have? Some who attended the vigil say they now plan to come together next spring break to prevent another death like this from happening. We're going to do our best to make sure that after the concerts, this organization, after the UME concerts, we're going to hopefully be waiting outside in the parking lots around the premises, helping making sure everybody has a buddy to get home with. We spoke off camera to co-owner of UME, Paul McGee, who was present at the vigil and asked if he believed the UME concert had any responsibility in the death of Justin Walker. He responded he was attending the vigil to pay respect to the Walker family and refused to comment any more on the matter. Live in the studio, Nora Salinas, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.